to me it's pretty simple you know if this is what you say you want then this is what you have to do and if you don't do that you're, you're not going to get what you want so uh, you know I think it's I think it's um, I think they can see the light at the end of the tunnel so to speak and I think that they see what's truly sitting in front of them uh, if they if they do XYZ if they don't do XYZ that's why you see teams losing every year it's that way and that's why it's so hard uh, to keep that focus, that hunger, that edge, um, that lack of satisfaction, um, you know, not allowing distractions, um, you know, that's uh, that's the challenge. And so that was, you know, the challenge to put in front of them. If you really want it, it's it's doable, okay? And it's going to be really hard. But here's what you got to do: if you don't do it, you, you're you're going to be on the outside looking in, and uh, you're going to have a, a life of regret, you know, because you're. It's, you know, so many things have to go your way, uh, and uh, to get to this point, um, you know, it's like as I look at Syracuse, you know, they're they're a team that they absolutely have to win this week, you know, to, to have a chance to go to a bowl game, and uh, they got every trick known to man in in uh, their kicking game, onside kicks, fake punts, fake field goals, and they've all worked and worked against us, and uh, so. The, they better be on, you know, uh, high alert, and uh, we need to play really, really well uh, going up to their place. So, um, you know, I got all kinds of reasons why, you know, we we beat these next, uh, you know, four games easy. There's plenty of reasons uh, if we're if we're not at the top of our game, and uh, and you need to be. And the great teams and the really good teams that have a chance to 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 compete for a championship, you you get better. You don't regress. You don't. Uh, you don't peak, uh, peak out, and um, we'll see where we go from here. I don't know. Um, but there's a ton of things that I loved last week, and uh, there's always some things that you don't like. Uh, uh, but I think that we've we've made some incremental improvement week to week, and uh, again along the way, I think it's naive and negligent to believe you're not going to have some setbacks. That's part of it. It's unfortunate. Um, the NC State was not very pleased. Uh, Structurally, you know, with again four or five plays, but uh, you know that's what the challenge now. We need to get better, and that's what yesterday was all about in our meetings. Uh, you say you want to be, you know, the best at this. Well, look at all the look at these plays. That's not what the best does, and you did. They didn't make a play on it, but that's not what the best does. You know, people are going to find your weaknesses, and uh, so there's a plenty of those that weren't apparent to the naked eye that were really focused on just getting better fundamentally, technique, reads, keys, eyes, uh, you know, precision in the execution, the understanding of what everybody around you, uh, you was doing on any particular call. And there was, that's yesterday, really for the most part, was spent really correcting uh, things in that game. And uh, uh, you know, so uh, felt like they, you know, they were, you know, very focused, paying attention, took the coaching, took the corrections. And, Hopefully, it, you know, that'll you know pay off. Did you, when you were at Oklahoma and y'all had that run and you won the national championship, do you draw back on that experience and some things maybe you did wrong in that during that time of coaching and try not to do it this time? Well, I mean, just use all your years, you know. Um, uh, I'll say this: I, I've never had a losing season, so all those different seasons, you all there's a story within the story on your proverbial journey, and uh, uh, so. I try to use a lot of experience. Listen, this is these are the things that it takes, and certainly the years that you came up short, you'll always use those, uh, you know, the experience there to, okay, do this, don't do that, you know, um, how you handle your guys. Uh, you know, our, our season's a long season, and so you try to manage uh, all those things, and whether it's in the game or whatnot. But uh, uh, the best teams I've been around continue to get better, and that's kind of the message, you know. Can't just go through the motions if it's if it's just ten minutes. The fundamental period, man, it's got to be a big time ten minutes where we're stressing and uh, really working on you know technique and those little things that is, should be your foundation. And uh, you can't get away with those away from those things. Um, so um, you know that's probably you know the biggest things uh, uh, you know drawing back on experience. Are there certain teams you play where you have a heightened awareness? Uh, of trick plays possibly happening. Is there anything you can do as sure. a coordinator yeah. to kind of, can you practice at all to, to combat oh, yeah. your plays? Oh, 
I just put together the stone. Tim put together the practice script. Every day is game day to me, and so I try to put together a game at practice. And uh, so all the different situations, try to stress our guys as much as possible, uh, and uh, put them in in very uh, tough situations. See how they respond, you know. And, and it's very, for me, every day, it's, and I'm not a fatalistic guy, but it's just like where there's no way we're going to cover this wheel route at practice. And then, and sure enough, we don't. And then, you know, I go nuts. And then, we, you know, you got to do it again. Or, uh, uh, and then it's like we're going to get crushed this week. You know, we can't do anything right. And then we go out and shut somebody out. Uh, but, um, yeah, you, you, there's definitely, there's different philosophies. And you try to figure out by watching, uh, you know, a lot of tape, what a what a coordinator, what a head coach's philosophy is, and you try to give that to your guys as information. This is how they think. This is what they're going to expect, uh, what we're going to expect. This is how they're going to look at us. Maybe it's a, this is a very athletic, aggressive defense. They're vulnerable to double moves, whatever. This is how they're going to attack us and try to get them in the mindset of the people that, you know, it's ultimately it's the enemy. So, uh, and uh, so, to create that you know level of urgency or the heightened awareness absolutely i think that's our our job as coaches one to understand our opponent and then two to get our players to understand them equally as well coach kind of related, related to that uh you mentioned the trick plays syracuse runs on uh, special teams mm -hmm. um do you spend the the same amount of preparation and time on special teams depending on the opponent or is, is it the same or is it different depending on well, the i mean uh it's never 50 50 you know you or 33% special teams in practice, 33% offense, 33% defense. You don't break it up that way. But we spend um, we spend a good amount of time, you know, covering those things and talking to them every day and trying to work it and put it in front of them every day. Yes. Understanding that it doesn't help you win the game, but like this week you're going to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated picture for Sean Watson. Is there any value in that? from a coach's point of view right now that the nation's kind of now picking up on what you guys are The only thing I could say, you don't do anything different. the only thing I would say, uh, and you know, I'm not getting any value out of it other than uh, if, if somebody tells me, hey, we're on the sports hill, you, 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 you try to use it maybe in recruiting, uh, that's it. Try to hide it from your own guys and, uh, and <laughs> use it in recruiting, you know, or, you know, uh, be extra hard on the guys that are involved maybe to do the Jedi mind trick, you know, I care what everybody else says about you, you know, you stink, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe they really do, and they fooled everybody else, so, you know, uh, I, yeah, I'd rather not people praise you, you know, and that was part of our, our meeting, you know, again, on a Monday, you know, everybody <coughs> wants to tell you how great you are, you ain't done jack, you know, you're going to play in Charlotte, that's all we know right now, and, uh, satisfied with that and then I'm coaching the wrong guys this isn't what we set out to do and uh, so again I think you know the psyche is so incredibly important um, we all have probably the majority of us have children you know how uh, it is easy for their minds to wander and, and uh, uh, you give them too much rope they're gonna hang themselves it's just uh, it's human nature and uh, I think the, the best players and the best teams just have their guard up, man. They're, they're on edge. Doesn't mean you can't be loose and confident and all those things, but you're, you're, you're fighting and you're desperate for your success. And I think that's critical if, uh, because it's really, really hard. And um, it's really, really hard. But just being desperate for success, okay, now what's it take? I mean, what do I got to do? And um, so that's kind of what you know, we, we're pleading with our guys, you know. Just lock in, focus on today, and try to be great today. Let's, you know, whatever it is that we're doing, let's let's be very engaged in it. Let's see where we're at. I think all the success, the winning, the uh, you know, the improved draft status, the uh, all the fame, that's all a byproduct of the end result that we're trying to get. And um, you're not going to have any of that if you don't do again this these things in between. So, aside from what you might have said earlier about Syracuse, what? Uh, they've got uh, um, they've got a good scheme. Um, they uh, they've had you know a number of the teams they've lost to. They've had them on the ropes all the way into the fourth quarter. Uh, they've got two very talented uh, receivers outside and a uh, 
the jack of all trades, number three. They move him all over the place, and he does a bunch of things. They've got good size and speed, though, on the outside to uh, to attack you in the throwing game. Uh, quarterbacks do a very good job of um, of uh, uh, you know both running as you know as running uh, threats in the quarterback run game, option game, and uh, really force you to. Uh, uh, Make good adjustments uh, on any particular play. Um, you know they do. They have a lot to their offense. So getting our guys, um, you know, zeroed in on their keys and adjustments is going to be critical. And being able to play good coverage uh, as well. But uh, you know, going on the road and playing a team that's desperate—that's always concerning.